Warning, the real estate market has shifted. Interest rates have gone up and inflation is through the roof. So what does this mean for home buyers, sellers, and homeowners? Hi, I'm Daphne Bousquet with eXp Realty. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to make sense of this for you and let you know what we can expect in the second half of 2022. First, let's tackle inflation. We can all feel it in our pocketbooks. Between groceries, gas, and everything in between, life has gotten more expensive. And to tackle this inflation, the Federal Reserve has hiked the interest rates. And though this is not directly related to mortgage rates, mortgage rates have shot up by 2% over the last few months. Now, in the last few weeks, we have seen interest rates leveling off a little bit, gone down a little bit, but those beautiful interest rates of 3 and 4% really are going to be a thing of the past. If you bought a house in the last year, congratulations. Not only did you gain $55,000 in equity on average, but you also got a great mortgage rate. And even though you probably thought you were overpaying for that house, you are looking pretty smart right now. Your home value has gone up and you have a mortgage rate that is not going to increase for the next 30 years. But if you did not buy a house in the last year, not only are you going to be paying more inter interest rate, so your monthly payment is going to go up, but you are also paying more for that house, that $55,000 on average. That is a double whammy. Does that mean that home values are going down right now? Back when the interest rates shot up by a point, I had a client call me and he saw this house that he really liked and he asked me how much below list price he could offer. He was shocked when I told him, mm -mm, you, that house is going to have multiple offers and is going to go over list price. And sure enough, it closed. $20,000 over the asking price. We are definitely seeing a shift in the market, but nice homes that are well-priced are still going to receive multiple offers and are going to go over the list price. The main difference is that some home buyers can no longer afford the homes they could at the beginning of the year. For instance, if a buyer was approved to buy a $500,000 house in January when the interest rates shot up by 2%, now they can only afford to buy a $400,000 house. That is a reduction in purchasing power of 20%. And since home values also increased over that time, that $400,000 house was probably a $380,000 house back in January. So that is a big difference. You have fewer buyers competing for homes, resulting in fewer offers. But that doesn't mean no offers. And it also does not mean a reduction in the sales price. However, the time for sellers to plop a house on the market that is not ready for prime time or not in the best of shape and expect a record price is over. There are still a multiple buyers for homes that have been properly prepared for the market and are priced right. It may take a few days longer, but you will still net great proceeds. Homes that are overpriced are going to linger on the market. And actually that is what we're seeing right now. We now have 44% more homes on the market than we did in 2021 around this time of year. So that is a huge increase. But there's no need to panic and think that the housing market is going to collapse and the bubble is about to burst. We are still 35% under of what we had available in 2020. And back then, everyone was complaining about how few homes we had on the market. In fact, this is what I wrote in my weekly email two years ago. But the increase of homes on the market means that buyers have more choices. And that is a good thing. If you see a home you love and can swing the payment, 
buy it. Experts are predicting that home values are going to still rise over the next few years. We are not going to see those wild increases that we've had over the last couple of years, but that was never sustainable. And even though it is likely that we are in a recession right now, that still does not mean that home values are going to tank. Plus, the situation is far different from the situation we had in 2008. Let's take a look of what happened in previous recessions to home values. So if you can buy, buy. If interest rates go up, you bought at the right time. If interest rates go down, you can always refinance at the lower rate and you still bought the house at the lower price. Remember, you marry the house, but you date the rate. And don't try to time the market because that never works. If you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate to hedge against inflation, reach out to me to get the latest neighborhood report for your zip code. Or you can click the link in the description as well. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel because new videos come out every Monday. I'll see you next week.